A sleep-related eating disorder can be dangerous as it's characterized by eating toxic substances and engaging in dangerous activities while in an unconscious state. Sit tight because we're going to review the symptoms, causes, health effects, diagnosis, and management of this disorder. You wake up to find a half-eaten sponge next to you, then you find lunch meat in the pantry. Last week, you found sticks of butter with bite marks, and a full gallon of milk is mysteriously gone. You've developed a serious case of muffin top, even though you're on a strict diet and exercising daily. Plus, you're super tired and have inexplicable cuts and bruises. You ask yourself, am I eating in my sleep? What is sleep-related eating disorder? Sleep-related eating disorder, known as SRAD, is characterized by unconscious and uncontrollable eating or drinking while asleep. SRAD is classified as a parasomnia and a form of sleepwalking that has the potential to cause acute injury. You can bump into furniture, fall downstairs, or unknowingly consume toxic substances. Even scarier, there's a good chance you won't recall these events. It's important you get the information you need to manage this condition. What are the symptoms? It's important to recognize the symptoms of SRAD. The most obvious is eating in your sleep. You may eat unusual or toxic foods and experience sleep-related injuries, daily fatigue, weight gain, and have amnesia of the event the next day. Harmful foods and substances consumed can include uncooked foods, cleaning products, or food that's high in carbs. These nightly escapades could lead you into unsafe areas and doing unsafe things, like using a knife or turning on the stove. Sleep will be disrupted as there can be multiple episodes in a sleep cycle, causing excessive daytime sleepiness. Keep watching to find out more about SRED, hear about the causes of SRED, and how to manage the disorder. What causes SRED? You might be genetically predisposed for the disorder, meaning if your parents have it, you may have it too. Psychiatric conditions and SRED are usually co-occurring, particularly anxiety. In about 16% of cases, sleep-related eating disorders could be traced back to a stressful event. Psychological stress can exacerbate the disorder, causing episodes to happen more frequently. Medications like sedative hypnotics can be linked to the onset of SRAM. Other drugs like antidepressants and antipsychotics can also induce symptoms. What are the health effects of SRAM? Over time, it can lead to chronic health conditions like obesity and diabetes as a result of increased caloric intake. You may develop heart disease or have high cholesterol due to a nocturnal diet that's high in fat and sugar. This lack of control may take a toll on your mental health, leading to anxiety and depression. How is SRED diagnosed? A diagnostic exam starts with your doctor asking questions and performing a physical exam. A sleep diary may be requested to identify related sleep patterns. Additionally, a video polysomnography may also be given to reveal key characteristics of the disorder. How is SRED managed? If it's linked to another disorder, the primary condition should be treated first. Treatment may involve using medications like dopamine agonists for SRED related to RLS to help regulate movement or to pyramate to control eating symptoms. Behavioral techniques such as psychotherapy can also be incorporated into a treatment plan. SRED can be a dangerous and mentally draining disorder for anyone suffering from it. It's important to take the time to get a diagnosis so that treatment can start as soon as possible. Help is available.